second leg uh, of the exhibition for Focus Iran 3, which opened at the Craft Contemporary uh, in January of 2019. And now the exhibition has moved here to UC Irvine, and uh, we're delighted to share all the beautiful photographs and videos with the entire community here at UC Irvine. This exhibition is free and open to the public every day from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And uh, you're welcome to come uh, to the Viewpoint Gallery and watch it. Again, this uh, is a project that happens every two years and it uh, starts with a competition that's open to artists from around the world. This year's uh, exhibition theme was Iranian youth culture and we received over 300 submissions from all over the world, but mostly from inside Iran. About 80% of the work is from inside Iran and uh, we're really proud of this project and it gives uh, such a great platform for artists from around the world to exhibit their work especially artists from Iran. So thank you to all who participated in Focus Iran 3 and thank you to everyone who's going to come and watch the exhibition. We're very proud of this program. My uh, photograph that I was a collaborative, a co-collaborative photo was with uh, Gian Zandi and we won first prize, the top prize in the Focus Iran 3 competition. Our photograph was titled The Brotherhood and it's very exciting to be here again for the second leg of this Focus Iran 3 which is all about the Iranian youth. I think they're incredible because most of them are from inside Iran and also it's important to show how the diaspora like feels and thinks and connects in their relation to the separation of being from Iran. So it's both viewpoints and they're all beautiful photographs and they all show very different uh, viewpoints about the future, which is the Iranian youth. The exhibition really represents not just what's going on in Iran, but what's going on across the world culturally with youth today. Particularly Iran in that you have a lot of dichotomy between the old and the new, plus the issues of women's rights. Um, and so for those things, those really hit home for me because it's such a transition period for the country and it's a difficult place for youth to transgress across that cultural realm, still maintain cultural identity and yet maintain their humanity at the same time. And so they have to not just transgress Iranian culture, but they have to transgress world culture in order to be able to find their place um, and, and function in an ever-changing environment. I uh, submitted to Farh uh, for the Focus Iran tree uh, called Bepar, which um, in English means hop. This is collaboration with Ghazal Samizeh. I'm from I'm Iranian, she's from Afghanistan, so we kind of find it like a you know common uh, culture uh, to basically show this journey of this girl from the um, you know young girl growing up and all the challenge and um, obstacles she's facing related to the issue with the societies, with the families. Very symbolic movie actually, so it's a, a short experimental video, which is we, we won a second place. <laughs> proud and excited about what's happening here at UCI because uh, not only this is a great exhibition from an artistic standpoint but the impact that it has is is limitless because as you know people who come and see this exhibition they will see space in the student center where hundreds if not thousands of students walk by and whether they like it or not they will see this work and they will get impacted by Iranian art and they will, get in, they will get exposed to Iranian art. Uh, so this is probably, of everything we do in Orange County, this is my favorite because of how far it reaches, because of its impact and how far it reaches. So I'm just really glad to be here and to be a part of this. And I hope this uh, continues.